Hi, I'm Jocelyn Kirby. I'm from Penn State. We just did a session on hydradenitis, pearls and pitfalls. And I wanted to try and drive home three main points. One is flare. Recognizing that flare is an enormously impactful part of HS. It's like being on a roller coaster is what my patients have told me. And so the pearl is know that flares happen in the majority of our HS patients at least monthly. That's monthly or more often. Second point is don't lose track of whether we're controlling the flares or they're controlling us. And so I try and get that sense from my patients by asking two questions. One is how often are you flaring? And then the second question is how long is it lasting? And then we do some math together right there in the room. So I'm hearing it lasts for about 10 days. That's 10 days of every 30 days. That's a third of your month. That's a third of your year. Do you think it's worth it maybe at this point to do something every day, whether that's a pill for early stage disease or maybe an injection or infusion for later stage disease? And that's, that applies to new starts in maintenance therapy, but also people who are already on a maintenance therapy and assessing whether it's helping to control those flares and maybe we need to either add something or change something. Other take home point is maintenance therapy helping people understand that the goal is to decrease flare intensity, duration, frequency, and also when we start that maintenance therapy, make sure that we set their expectations and ours, which is we have to give this medicine about four to six months to work. And when you come back in and check it, this is the third point, ask the question of, are you noticing that the bumps are moving around if you still have them, or are they kind of fixed and persistent in one spot? because the management of those things is gonna be different. Migratory lesions, we gotta change up the medicines, either add something to that maintenance therapy or change to a new one. Persistent lesions, let's add procedures. Medicines just can't dissolve some of these really stubborn and persistent lesions. So there are things like de-roofings and excisions that we can absolutely do in our clinic and change people's lives.